So, whatever happened yesterday isn't happening today. Well, that's good. Computers, who can figure out such devices, am I right? Somebody was complaining about focus yesterday, or recently. Oh no, the clock didn't start. How long have I been talking? I don't know. Well, I haven't been talking. I've been farting around and making you watch. What a torturer I am. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, it's hump day. Happy hump day. Hope you're humping. It's 6.10 p.m. Current temperature is 66 degrees. Here's to you. Mm. On his way out the door, my boss sent an email out saying, I'm gone for a week. I, I hope that was planned. But now I find myself in no boss around mode. Which isn't much different from boss around mode. My boss is pretty cool. I've had a, actually a pretty good string of cool bosses since I became a writer. No offense to my boss. Just before I became a writer. In case he happens to ever watch this. but you know, When you do a good job, your boss kind of lets you do your job. And I haven't had to suffer from a lot of micromanagement. Actually, for about mm, 13, 14 years. So, kids, get good at what you do. Deliver results. Don't show up on the radar. And your boss will let you do your job. And in the process, probably let a lot of other shit slide, like recording videos from your office. Get some hair out of place. It's good that I'm giving advice to the kids, because I think everybody watching this is probably older than I am. Now, I had a comment on YouTube, which I will address right now, because it may take us somewhere. Or it may not. We'll see. Frequent long-time close personal friend and commenter, Otto, sat through 14 minutes of yesterday's video. 14 freaking minutes, and not one mention of Paul, by God, Heyman returning to WWE Raw. That's true. I kind of totally forgot about that. It's like, oh, yeah, that happened. The thing was, I didn't say too much about it on the W, as I tend to actually not say a lot about wrestling on the W. I prefer to let everybody else talk, except when I get tired of them talking, and then I put the hammer down, man. But... If you follow me on Twitter, follow my live uh, stream. As you do, Otto, so if you missed that tweet, you'll have to go back and check. I don't know if that's likely to happen. But at the time, I tweeted something along the lines of, okay, seriously, that was the greatest thing in the history of ever. And you know I don't tweet stuff like that. On a K or ever. What did I say? I might as well look it up. There's a reason I keep all this stuff logged, right? But it was very good, I thought. Very exciting. He's just, he's so good at what he does. And he's also very good at delivering a promo. And he did it so great. Oh man, I said, this may have seriously been the greatest thing in the history of ever. And you know I never say stuff like that. Not bad. That's pretty good recall. But point holds. There isn't anybody, the problem with that is he comes out and he does such a blow away promo. And then you're like, wow, that's a part-timer at best, and he's not a wrestler, and we got all these other people making up the show. And then you kind of feel let down by it. But for what it was, it was great. I hope it wasn't a one-off. I hope we see him again. I wouldn't mind 
If he had other jobs in the company, I know that's impossible and will never happen, but it's nice to think about. Just like all my friends should have jobs in the company, right? Couldn't do a worse job, could we? By the way, Otto, uh, I understand there's gonna, an SDW card in July that's going to feature one of the Colt Cabana Adam Pierce Best of Seven series for the NWA Championship. Do we want to do that? Let's think about that. I believe it's July 7th. And I'd have to Google it to be sure, but you started talking about SDW, and then some. Sure enough, there's another mention of SDW. So not only is it around, but actually a pretty good match, uh, Colt Cabana and Adam Pierce. I wouldn't mind seeing that in person, would you? Okay, now that my personal note to autos out of the way, we'll go back to talking to the rest of y'all. The problem is, there's always a bunch of things I wish I had talked about. But I never remember them in the moment when I'm talking to you. I'll remember them later as I step out the door, out of the office, on the way home, or several hours ahead of time. And what I should do is write down notes, but that's a little more effort than I'm willing to put in, I guess. Has another Canadian wanted to drop a list of strangely all chicken related potato chip flavors I'm assuming they're potato chips he just said chips but he started by mentioning ketchup chips which I mentioned yesterday as a, a not totally Canadian thing but a predominantly Canadian thing I have seen ketchup chips here and there in America and he started with saying the ketchup chips were mmm. And then he said he found a new flavor, spicy ketchup chips. Presumably ketchup chips get spicier. And he said that those are quite tasty as well. There are so many varieties of chips, both brands and flavors up here that I have trouble keeping up. Here's the list. President's Choice. Now, I thought President's Choice was the Walmart brand, but I have not been to Walmart to look for their off-brand chips lately. Maybe I should. But there's probably some, they probably don't let you have American chip flavors with chicken in the name. That's probably an FDA regulation or something. So, But he lists General, he actually lists General Dow's chicken. And I wonder if that's like a misspelling of General Tso's chicken. Because A and S are really close to each other on the keyboard. And General Tso's chicken is that dish I always seem to have at the Chinese food uh, place or buffet. Anyway, it sounds spicy. Buffalo wings and blue cheese, that also sounds spicy and awful. I don't like blue cheese. My wife loves blue cheese. I think it's a polarizing thing. I don't think there's anyone who's like lukewarm about it. You either like that, that sour kind of, not in blue cheese, no, I don't like it. Or you love it. But, you know, it's, it's one of those good things to have in the house because we know that one person in the house is going to have it and the other person isn't. But we do get the, the old Dutch extra crunchy chips are made in that flavor. And I don't like those either. And Kim likes those. So there's a little something about me. Sicilian lemon chicken. I don't know what that is. It sounds good. Jamaican jerk chicken. I do know what that is. I can't imagine it being on a chip. Actually, all of those seem kind of iffy for chip names. I don't know. It's like they had the flavor. It's like, well... What food can we compare it to? Somebody just was on a chicken kick that day. My personal favorite has continues. Sea salt and black pepper. That is a flavor that actually is available here. Again, not President's Choice. It's probably another Old Dutch kettle cooked flavor. But it seems so obvious, you know, you just put some black pepper on there. Delicious. And yet it's not... It doesn't happen. I'm big on black pepper, by the way. If you get the freshly, you know, get that good grinder and lots of pepper on everything. And as far as I know, it, it isn't bad for you like like they say salt is. So, of course, I also grind up salt. Well, we've talked about salt before. Back when Penny was watching. Are you still watching Penny? 
gave up. Uh, has had a question about the song I played yesterday, and there should be right up there a Groove Shark widget for you to go ahead and play it. And you may be listening to it right now while you're listening to me. And in fact, if you are, that song probably ended about 30 seconds ago. And in fact, I'm over time because I forgot to hit start, and I know it's been a couple minutes. So, where did the time go? I don't know. But we're over the hump now, pal. Talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Chuckles. Tomorrow I'm going to eat these once and for all because they are past their expiration date. So tune in for that, won't you? Cheers. <laughs>